Recently, when birding, I saw an immature bald eagle perched on top of a utility pole shortly after heading out on the trail. On my way back, I noticed there was a second eagle in the same location. Awesome, I thought to myself. I think it's a golden eagle. I have yet to see one in its native habitat, and I was excited at the thought of finally seeing one. Until I got home and did some research. Yeah, it wasn't a golden eagle. It was two bald eagles, which is still awesome. I'm always working on improving my bird identification skills, and this was definitely a learning moment. So if this has ever confused you too, here are some tips on how to tell immature golden eagles apart from immature bald eagles. First, let's start with the head and look at the differences between a golden and a bald. One of the easiest ways to distinguish between the two is to look at the color of the sear. The sear is the area of bare skin above the bill where its nares are. In a golden eagle, no matter what its age, the sear is yellow. In a juvenile bald eagle, the sear is dark. This is what tipped me off that my supposed golden eagle find was actually a juvenile bald eagle. Now, as a bald eagle progresses through its immature plumage, the sear becomes more yellow, so keep that in mind when doing identification. And just to clarify, juvenile refers to their plumage from fledgling until their first molt, or about one year. Immature is from year one, or until they get their adult plumage, at about four to five years old. Let's look at the color of the head feathers. Golden eagles, from juvenile and on up, have the signature gold feathers on the nape of the neck. Nice and simple. The head feathers on juvenile bald eagles are dark brown throughout, becoming lighter brown and eventually having more and more white feathers. Golden eagles also have smaller heads than bald eagles. When looking at the bill and eye color, again, golden eagles are straightforward. The eye color is dark brown and stays brown and the bill is dark and stays that way. For bald eagles, yep, everything goes in reverse here. The eyes start out as brown and become lighter, eventually becoming yellow. The bill follows in suit, starting from being dark and progressively becoming lighter until it's solid yellow in adulthood. If you get the chance to see the eagle's legs, there's another clue to pick up on. Golden eagles have feathers that extend all the way to the top of the feet, like leg warmers. Bald eagles have feathers that stop just above the foot, scandalously showing just a little bit of lower leg. And their tails. Immature goldens have a distinctive white band on their tails with a really thick black band at the end. They lose this when they get their adult plumage. Bald eagles, on the other hand, have brown and white modeling on their tails with a much thinner trim of brown at the terminal end. Lastly, the wings. If you get a chance to see them in flight, immature goldens have distinctive white patches that are visible from both the top and underside of the wings, which get smaller as they reach adulthood. Juvenile balds start out with dark wings, then get more white modeling throughout their immature plumages, and then go back to solid dark brown as an adult. So these are some of the key identifiers to help you differentiate between an immature golden eagle and an immature bald eagle. Has this bit of bird ID ever stumped you before? If so, feel free to share what your experience was like. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.